In this video, I'll be showing you how to utilize the functionality of the Incel Western Analysis ribbon. So we have a plate here, and if you have not previously applied the Incel Western Analysis, if you didn't do that at the time of acquisition, you can simply add that by going to the Analysis ribbon, and here under Type, you're going to click on Incel Western. And so you'll see here that there is a new ribbon that comes up to the side. And here, uh, if we start here in the plate group, we can choose whatever type of plate that we have. So if you use, say for instance, a 24 well plate, you can set that and then the 24 well uh, plate analysis is applied. But in this particular case, we do have a 96 well plate. And if I click there, I can then move the plate into the correct location. Now you can also use the uh, keys on your or the arrow keys on your keyboard to do some fine tuning. Now if the grid was not or if your plate was not proper properly aligned for uh, during acquisition, if you right click on this, you can rotate the grid. And you'll see here that we have this grid rotation and so you can rotate a grid or rotate the plate um, like that to get it into the correct location for you. Uh, but this one is square, so I'm just going to leave this at zero. Now, if need be, you can modify the, uh, the plate templates. So you can do circles or squares. You can make them larger or smaller if need be, depending on whatever your particular plate type is. So for the analysis, what you need to do is to first set uh, which wavelength has your normalization channel. Now for this particular image, I have the normalization in the 800 channel. If you have used one of our Incel Western kits, uh, the stain will be in the 700 channel, so that's what you would use for doing the normalization. But for this one, it is in the 800 channel. Next we want to go to Well Types, and if you click on this, it will bring up a representation of the grid. And so, what you have to do then is to define your well types. In this image, we have uh, D1 and E1 are my background wells. And then my sample wells are uh, D2 through E11. So that's what is, is marked here. And then my 100% or my reference wells are D12 and E12. And you can, use, you can use this reference as a, as a few different ways. In this particular case, we have an increasing amount of phosphorylation of this particular protein. And so we have decided that this is the maximum amount, and so this has been set to the 100%. If the wells down here were resting cells and you wanted to see a increase in the amount of phosphorylation uh, due to whatever treatment that you have applied, I can set those two wells as my hundred percents and then everything else as the samples. So it just depends on your experimental design. Click OK and then you can also create linked wells. So if you have replicates within here, so these both of these rows are replicates. So if I click the linked wells, I'm going to highlight all of these. I'm going to highlight all of those wells, and then I'm going to link the rows together. And now E1 and D1 are linked, D2 and E2. And so what it does is during the quantification and the analysis, it will average uh, the signal from both of those wells to come up with the appropriate calculations. So we have two new tables down here. We have the Incel Western wells, or and then also the grid sheets. And it, for the wells, this is a listing of all of the wells. It gives you the total, um, and then it also will give you the relative. And the relative is a combination of a few different calculations. It uses the background wells uh, to do the background subtraction, and then it also calculates uh, based off of the normalization channel. Uh, it, so if you have cell count differences, it will account for that and come up with the relative amount. The Incel Western uh, percent response is based off of, I had designated these two wells as the 100 percents, 
And then as we see an increasing amount of phosphorylation across the plate here, we do see that uh, in the last well, uh, the amount of phosphorylation has increased 533%. If we take a look at the grid sheet, uh, we can, if I put in percent response uh, for the 700 channel, we see that the, the data are plotted here in the grid format. So if you would like all of the data in a co uh, column format, you would use the ICW wells table. If you would like a single data point for a single channel, you would use uh, the grid sheet right here. Now, one way to simplify the look of this, because you can see that there are many uh, empty wells on here. And so if I wanted to simplify this table, what you can do is use this ICW type to get rid of any of the ones that are labeled as none. So if you right click on this column header, come down here, you can uncheck none. And then now only things that have been designated as either background sample or 100% are available in this table. Uh, not only can you do uh, the Incel Western analysis, you can also do what is what is uh, what a calculation that is called the Z factor. And the way that you set that up is here under the well types, I can change that to Z factor analysis. And now you see that we have different options here. So again, I'm still going to set this as my background. And then the wells with the lowest amount of signal, I will designate as the negative control. And then my highest signal will be the positive control in this particular assay. So now when I click OK, we, you see that we get the Z factor calculation is right here uh, un, listed under Z factor. There are a few different things that you can do uh, with the options uh, for these groups. So under the definition group, the options you have, uh, you can do individual rows, you can do individual columns, um, and then normally you will have total as being your source column for the data. That's, that's what is most commonly used. And then here under the show group, uh, if you do have data displayed on the screen, uh, if you do have this quantification turned on, uh, the default setting is the ICW percent response. But if you wanted to, you could also have the total displayed. Uh, it is completely up to your choice. So if you have any further questions on this, please refer to your, your help section. Thank you.